So we're going to continue to analyze how um, the vectors in our TNB frame change as we move along the curve. And we've already found that, um, that, the, that the rate of change of the unit tangent with respect to distance traveled is the curvature, and it's in the direction of the normal, and that the rate of change of the binormal in, with respect to change in distance along the curve is equal to the, the negative torsion um, times the unit normal. And so um, now what we want to do is find how does the unit normal change with direction along the curve. And let's see, if we look at the unit normal, let's just remember kind of how this frame works. If we have a curve, then, then t is tangent to the curve, that's the unit tangent t, n will point in the direction that we'll t we're turning, and then t cross n by the right hand rule will give us b in this direction. So let's see, how can we cre create n? Well, if we use our right hand and go b cross t, then that will give us n as well. So n is really b cross t. Let's now take the derivative of n with respect to s. Because of the product rule, we get the derivative of the first cross the second plus the first, which is b, crossed with the derivative of the second. And we actually know these pieces, right? So db ds is minus tau, the torsion, um, times n, and then we have n cross t. So, um, and then <coughs> dt ds is um, equal to kappa, the curvature, times the unit normal. So we get minus t times the cross product of n and t. Now from the right hand rule, if you cross n and t, so you put your fingers this way, imagine using your right hand and let your fingers run this way, and then curling towards t, you would get this vector, which we can see is going to be the opposite of b. Oh, I guess we already knew that, because b is t cross n, right? We've memorized that definition, so if we do the cross product the other way, then we're going to get the other vectors, the other direction. So we have the minus torsion times minus b. Okay, now this kappa comes through, but we need to figure out what is b cross n. So imagine putting your right hand with your fingers pointing in the direction of b and rotating them up towards um, n to do b cross n. And we're going to get then, by the right hand rule, a vector in the, uh, in the direction opposite of t. So this is minus t. So we find out that, that, um, that dnds actually has two components. It's got a component in um, the, the binormal direction and then minus a component in the unit tangent direction.